An outpouring of support tonight for a Jacksonville leader and his family. Tommy Hazuri Sr., husband, father, and political force, is in hospice care. The former Jacksonville mayor, current city council member, is dealing with complications following his lung transplant last year. Our Jeannie Blaylock is joining us with what Hazuri has meant to the Jacksonville community. Jeannie. Well, the city full of thoughts and prayers right now for the former mayor and his medical struggles. For all of us who've made Jacksonville home, the name of Tommy Azuri is prominent in our minds. He is an icon, no doubt. The former mayor was hospitalized over the weekend with complications from a lung transplant he had last year. He's 76 years old. He served the public for 33 years, early on as a state representative, then as mayor of Jacksonville, a school board member, and then council member and council president. As mayor, he got voters to support a half cent sales tax to get rid of those unpopular toll booths. You may remember those at some of our bridges. You can still in your mind, if you remember to see him standing by a toll booth as it was literally blowing up to shreds. And he also pushed through legislation that cut odor pollution to help Jacksonville get rid of that awful stigma of being the city that smelled bad. He has accomplished a lot. Joining us now is uh, Tommy Azuri's cousin and former First Coast News anchor and reporter Donna Deacon. And Donna, we appreciate your being with us tonight. I'm so sorry to hear this news. And I guess what I want to start with is, is what does your family want the community to know about his health tonight? Well, I, I know that uh, I know that Tommy is incredibly grateful for all the thoughts and prayers and well wishes and everything that's been sent his way. Uh, I, I know that he made a comment that his uh, lungs may be failing, but his heart is full. And I think, uh, you know, Jeannie, Tommy is, is that person that he spent, gosh, his entire life wanting to do exactly what he did. So, you know, uh, I, I think he's, I, I think right now he'd tell you he, he would be raring to come back. And, and, uh, and I know after his lung transplant, he, uh, he couldn't wait to get back to city council. And, and so this is a person that from the time he was a, a little boy really wanted to be in public service and he started as as student council president or, or class president and of his senior class at, uh, at at Jackson High School and then the same thing at JU and as you listed a, a long line of everything from from legislative work in in uh, the Florida legislature to being mayor um, to eight years in the school board I mean you don't do all those things um, unless you have a deep love for I'm going to need you to grab that, please, because I just got disconnected. Sorry, I dropped my phone. Unless you have a deep love uh, for people and, and this community, and that's always been Tommy. Um, people have been stopping me all day saying, you know, Tommy always comes by my table or comes to say hi if I, if I ask him a question or whatever it is. You know, that's, that's Tommy. He loves this community so much, and I think in that way he has been incredibly blessed, uh, and I think he would tell you that. Uh, it's been a tough day. Uh, there's no question it's been a very, very tough day. But um, this is a guy who never shrunk from any sort of challenge in his career. And I, and I think that's the thing. I think if, if I had to read Tommy's mind right now, um, as, as he may be watching this or the family may be watching this, you know, he never got credit for any of the glamorous stuff uh, that happened in the city. But he was never shrinking from the difficult task, that, that work that that made the city move forward because of things that was holding the city back, as you mentioned, you know, the tolls. I, I know, I remember you and I watching, uh, watching the, the tolls come down. I still have a piece of one of those toll booths. <laughs> it, it was such joy watching those tolls come down. And, and, and you know, everything from, from the stench that people would joke about when they came through Jacksonville, he tackled a, a really tough garbage issue, which at the end of the day was advised not to do, and that was, um, he said, no, you, you know what, it needs to be done, and it, and it probably lost him re-election. But that's when you know you're dealing with somebody who loves the city and loves the work and wants to do the right thing when he was never concerned about political expediency. He always just wanted to do what was best and still mm -hmm. does for Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. That's, that is Tommy. And I, I just, um, I love him to death, and, and I know that all of us are, right. are praying for him and for Carol. Absolutely. And, um, mm -hmm. and I, I just... Uh, I would say this, um, you know, I don't know anybody, and I know, I know he's family, but I'm just going to say this. I don't know anybody when you line up that many years of public service. Um, I just don't think there's another resume that really stands no, up to it. Just, and uh, be, and um, he, he's, just, he's just a wonderful human being, and we love him. Well, Donna, you can't say it any better than that. Beautifully spoken, and, and that last sentence you said, we love him. I mean, 
The whole town appreciates what he's done, whether you've been here for years or you've just got to Jacksonville. And our hearts and our prayers are with you. And we appreciate your coming down here to talk with us live tonight. Thank you so much, Donna. And if you'd like more about this story, a, a look back at Missouri's history as a major political figure in Jacksonville history. We have continuing coverage right ahead on FirstCoastNews.com. Anthony? Jeannie and Donna, thank you for that.